Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a moment to just say thank you so much for all the support, for all the messages, and it's been absolutely amazing to see all of the success. We just got someone hired, shout out to Chase, hired in three weeks with Striker. It is absolutely amazing just to see the people coming into the program having success, where we have so many people who are breaking in in three, four, five weeks and being able to come in way above when you see other people coming in at 60, 70 K, they're coming in at 80, 90, 100. Again, you'll see our average is $94,478. And again, once we rerun all the numbers, I can already just tell you that the number will be way higher for the income and then the amount of weeks it's taking them will be going down. It's so much fun. I can't wait to do that. But I just want you all to know, again, the average is $94,478. But do we have people who are like 22 coming in at 80, 85? Yeah, for sure. But just so you all are aware, it is so much fun watching these people live their dream, break into medical device sales, and not only getting into medical device sales, but knowing how to actually go be top performers inside the industry because they're looking at this as an investment in their career, not just a job. But I also want to just say thank you to all the kind messages. I'm so glad that our messages, our podcast, our post have been helpful for you all. And if you guys ever would like to connect, you can reach out to me at Jacob McLaughlin or New to Medical Device Sales on LinkedIn is where we're the most active, but also any other platform, always happy to connect. I am so excited about today's podcast because this is going to be a podcast of I'm having a lot of conversations with people trying to get in the industry. And this is a common thing that I keep seeing of why they're not breaking in. And so I wanted to just provide you as much value as I can If you guys can press that like and subscribe button, if you can share this with somebody that you feel it could be helpful for, it would mean the absolute world. And again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to you all because without you guys, we would not be here. But I just want you to know there's a lot of fun things coming, uh, the conversations that are starting to be had with companies um, because they know our people are really great. And so I am so excited to continue this journey with you all and just want to say thank you so much for all of the support. Welcome back to New to Medical Device Sales. I am your host, Jacob McLaughlin, and I am coming to you all so excited. We are going, as of the recording of this, into the weekend of our New to Medical Device Sales meetup, where we have people coming from all over to join us, states, they're driving, they're flying. And so I know the amount of value we're about to provide them is going to be just out of this world. We've actually even had companies reaching out to us knowing that they need people and they're actually asking if they can sponsor it. It's been just such a cool thing to see it all come together. So I am so excited and can't wait to let those people who are coming have so much value. So if you guys don't get in on this one, we'll have them in other places, not only in Scottsdale, but other places coming up in the future. Um, So stay tuned and be ready for an announcement because I already know where the next one's going to be. Can't wait to go there. Um, And I'll just give you a little teaser as it's most likely going to be in the East Coast. So uh, I'm so excited for that. But I wanted to come today and give you guys a podcast that could be extremely helpful. So no matter if you're in medical device sales or if you're trying to break into medical device sales, because I get to work with the fortunate opportunity of being with people who are first year reps, second year reps. And again, I have friends that are 20 plus year veterans, right? Like we we get to see top performers. I wanted to speak on what I see people who are struggling when they're first coming in and some of the hurdles of why they can't be successful, but also the exact same thing for new to medical device sales and people that are trying to break into the industry and where they struggle is these same lies and and some of the tips that I want to help you all with. So what I wanted to talk about today, I get on calls every single day with people who are telling me they want to be in med device sales. This is a career that they want to do. And then I also have the reps that are like, I'm in the industry and I can't wait to be successful in it. It always comes into, I don't know what I want to do. I think I know what I want to do. I think I'm doing enough. And the honest truth is they just don't know. And here's the reality of it. So a conversation I just had with somebody is they're like, oh, I just got a first round interview. I'm prepping like crazy and I think I'm ready. And I said, do you know you're ready or you think you're going to crush it? And they said, I think. And I said, and that is why you're going to lose. They paused and they looked at me all confused and they were kind of like taken back that I would say that to them. But what I want you guys all to hear is when you're trying to break into medical device sales, What you guys don't understand and why we do what we do is you don't even know what you don't know. I have so many people tell me, hey, Jacob, all I have to do is A, B, and C, and then I'll be in broken medical device sales. And I'm like, that's hilarious because you don't even know about D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. But you think by just doing this, because here's the reality. If that was just what you needed to do, you'd already be in med device sales. There's so many things you don't actually even know about. No different than the rep that's in medical device sales. They're like, oh, I'm in med device sales. I'm an associate or I'm in my first year, but they don't even know how to do a lunch. They don't even know how to convert a doctor. 
they don't even know how to have a conversation with the doctor without almost peeing their pants. A lot of times the lack of knowledge is what's keeping you stuck. It's what's not letting you be able to progress. But I'm going to sit here and tell you all, because this is the biggest thing that I hear is, no, I think I can do it on my own. And let me just tell you why that is the silliest thing in the world. Do you think that any top performer, any professional athlete, any of the people that you look up to ever did it all by themselves with no help? No, because let me just make this really clear. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, all those people, guess what they had? Coaches. Guess what? Every single entrepreneur that you talk to, yeah, they did some stuff and they figured it out, but they also had people to help them. They had a network that actually helped them get to where they needed to go. And what these wealthiest human beings in the world and the smartest and the highest performers understand is they don't know everything. Let's just make this really clear. You get into the NFL, they are working with sports performance coaches just to get 0.1% better because that 0.1% can give them an edge. But what a bunch of people going into a career, we can think that way in sports, but when it comes into a career, they're like, no, I'm just going to figure it out. But what if you're a quote unquote, a top performer? Guess what keeps you in a top performer? Because what makes you instead of top five, top four, top one? That's the thing that people miss. And so why I'm just saying this is everyone will get on a call with me and they're like, medical device sales is the career I know I want to do. And they won't invest in themselves. I just had a conversation is what if I can do it for free? (laughs) Um, Yeah, there's a chance you can. And then this is always my conversation. What happens when you go up against somebody who's been a top performer like myself, and then you go up against one of our people who are in our program, and we're teaching them everything that they need to do, and they know exactly what to do, and there's no guessing between interview one, three, five, and seven. Guess what happens when you go up against them? I'll just save you some time. You lose. Because you don't even know what you need to know, and they already know. Also, when you talk about commitment, this is how they look at it. This is a career. You guys are all saying this is a career. You all went to college. And half of you don't even want to use your degree that you paid 50 to 100 plus thousand dollars. And you happily gave that money or took the debt out and you didn't even think it through. But now you sit here and say, this is the career. I want to do five, 10, 15 plus years. I want to make millions of dollars. I'm just going to do it for free. I I just figure out, just wing it and just see if it works out. That's why you're going to lose. Because you want to know what the top people always do? They invest in themselves. So that is number one that I wanted to put out there. I hear so many people who tell me they're going to do this. And it leads me into what I'm about to talk to that is going to change all of your lives. And you'll be like, oh, I'm listening now. What's that going to be? It's going to be the excuses. The excuse is why you're stuck. The excuses are why you won't be successful. The excuses are why you'll never hit your goals. The excuses is why you'll never hit the full potential. The reason I'm sitting here telling you have a real talk with you guys, I was on six calls yesterday. You want to know the difference between the high performers and the the people who get what they want and the people who never do and complain? They commit. It doesn't mean that they're not scared because let me sit here and tell you, it is scary. But what every loser does, and when I say loser, I don't mean that in a mean way, but it's like when they don't win, for example, every person who's like, I had the idea of Uber. Great. You had the idea. What'd you do to act on it? You didn't do anything. So now you didn't get it. You all are like probably had an idea that makes worth millions of dollars now. Guess what? You never acted on it. That's why you don't make any money. And what everybody does is the what if game. And this is the conversation I had with somebody who was going through it. And they're like, "Ah, I think I'll join you in three months. And I said, great. Why three months? Well, I'm dealing with some personal stuff. I said, hey, totally understand. But what changes in three months? No, maybe I won't go through as much personal stuff. My friends, let's have a real talk. You all live this life. What was happening two months ago, three months ago? Guess what? There's new stuff that comes up two to three months later. Let me make this really clear. There is never the right time. So this has nothing to do even with our program. This is just like, if you're considering medical device sales, because I know there's a lot of people who are in other industries and then they're like, I'm half in, half out. I kind of think you want to know what's happening is you're just wasting your time and you're just thinking maybe it'll work out and you're never taking any action. And it's why six months from now, you're still not going to have the results you want. And then you're going to blame everybody else. Oh, it's hard. I tried to give it. But can you look at yourself in the mirror? And say you gave everything. Just had a talk with one of our mentees that are in medical device sales. You can complain, the, uh, complain and compare yourself to the competition, and you can blame the competition. You can blame your industry. You can blame the company you're with. You can blame leadership. You can blame that we're not in a great economic. You can blame whatever you want. All I can promise you is you'll still lose because you want to know what winners do? They take action. Again, doesn't mean that they're not scared. The difference between losers and winners is winners take action. And so the reason I'm sitting here telling you this is this has to do with med device sales. This just has to do with life. Because what I had the conversation with that person, 
let me just have you guys think about because many of you have followed me throughout my whole journey. And you guys saw that I moved out here with $1,200 to my name, came from the poorest county in Iowa, broke as heck. But what nobody knows is I left a month before my nephew was born. I moved out here not knowing a single person. Then I did fitness. And what I'm just sitting here saying is, do you think there's a perfect time to move out to Arizona? No. Do you think there's a perfect time to get into fitness? No. Do you think there's a perfect time when I left fitness to get into medical device sales? No. Do you think there's a perfect time when I was at Medtronic and I decided to go to a startup to cut it off? No. Do you think there was a time when I was at Innovis to go full time in new to medical device sales? Do you think there was the perfect time for that? No. The difference between winners and losers, they just do it and they'll figure it out as they go. Because if you're waiting for the right time, let me just promise you, it will never come. There's never the right time to do anything. Because what happens, and this is, well, let me just sit here and tell you, this is never a feel bad for me, but let's have a real talk. My mom has three stents in her heart, has to go to a cardiologist and they have to do a surgery and she's had multiple heart attacks and we don't know what's going on. Okay, great. That sucks. And she has a a conversation with a doctor on Friday. My grandma is at a place now where she's starting to see things that aren't there. She's on her last leg and she's been there. But I know within the next probably month, she's gone. Okay, that sucks. That's life. But what I'm going to sit here and tell you, no matter what it is, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be something that holds you back, tells you why you can't do something. It is not that you're not scared. It is that you have to fully commit. And let me just sit here and tell you, the moment you do, the moment you do, you're going to get punched in the freaking face and everything you were scared about might happen. That's the universe testing you. What I'm sitting here telling you guys, everything you want on in life is on the other side of heart. But most of you are okay with staying in the heart of not liking your job, staying in the heart of not re- reaching your full potential, staying in the heart of not being in shape, staying in the heart of not being where you want to be because it's easier to get in excuses and blame everybody else. And you want to know why there's only a couple people in this world, the top 1%, top 5% that make all the money because everybody else has excuses, complains, and does that. I'm sitting here telling you as somebody who literally used to put groceries back to have to watch my family suffer to now where I can go and bless my whole family, fly them all out here, do my thing. That's never be like, Jacob's amazing, all this stuff. It's to show you it's possible. But the only reason it's possible is I took the chance. Do you think my family was supportive when I moved out here? Hell no. I'm leaving my whole family. They're all stuck back there. Now, again, they told me they want it, but they still missed me. They sent me texts all the time. You don't think it doesn't suck to get a text when your nephew is born and you're not there and everyone's sending you messages? It does. But that's a choice I had to make for my life because I'll sit here and tell you, why they're all doing stuff and now I can support them and give them cars and do stuff that I can, guess what would never happen if I didn't jump? They would have always told me why I can't be successful and why I would have been here. I wouldn't have been able to give them what they need. The reason I'm bringing that to you all to just show you that I'm an actual real human being, it's the exact same thing you're facing. You might have parents who don't support what you want to do. You might have family members who don't get what you want to do in your life. That's okay. It's no different than once you're in medical device sales. Guys, there's going to be reps. Let me just sit here and one more time tell it for all the reps that are out there that are going to talk trash when you start going. When, if you're somebody who's young or you're brand new and you come and crush it, it's going to make them insecure if the, that rep's been in for a while because now you're showing them up. Guess what? They're going to make backhanded comments to you. They're going to say stuff to you. I just made a post on my Instagram the other day in our story about stop trying to be the big fish in the small pond. How about you go be the small fish in the big pond? That's why people will never win is because they're trying to be the biggest fish. And oh, I'm in med device sales. I work at this company and I make $150,000, $200,000. Who cares? Good Lord. I have somebody who's going to be on our podcast. Their salary is $500,000. You don't know their company. Oh, who cares? Right? The reason I'm sitting here telling you guys is the excuses are what are keeping you stuck. There is never going to be a right time for you to go and jump and take the life that you want in control. There's never going to be the time that you have the permission to be like, oh, it's going to be perfect. But I'm sitting here telling you, giving you the permission, jump, commit to you, go for you, go make the life that you have on your heart and go make it happen. Because I'm sitting here telling you in a studio that you get to see the nice background. As you guys saw when I had my first phone living with a bunch of roommates, it's because you just take the shot. You got to take the shot at some time. And then You actually have to quit making excuses because there is always a reason why you can't be successful in medical device sales. And there's always a reason why you can't break into medical device sales. There's always a reason why you can't do certain things. But the difference between the top performers and the people who break into medical device sales in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, all my people that break in in under eight weeks, guess what? No bull crap, straight to the point. Tell me what to do. Let's go crush. That's it. You want to know the people that come in medical device sales and actually crush it every single time? Hey, I have this goal and I'm going to do it. And I know there's going to be challenges. That's okay. I'm not going to let it detour me because, well, let me just make sure you guys all know you can focus on the negative and the positive and your life's going to be either or. So you want to focus on this doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. Great. 
your life's going to suck and you're probably not going to hit quota. But if you can focus on the good stuff that's going through, and guess what? Life is all about ups and flows, ups and downs. But if you can continue to ride that wave and just do it at a steady pace, you're going to do pretty well. Because I talk about this all the time. Don't let the lows get too low and the highs get too high. We're on a high. It's amazing. Guess what's promised to come? A low eventually. And guess what happens from a low? The lows won't keep going low. Eventually, they come back to a medium and a high. It's just continue. Can you stay steady and can you believe in you? But can you stop listening to all the lies? And a lot of the time, the lies are the fake beliefs you all have in your head. And I'm sitting here telling you, it's because it's the same thing with me. You want to know how I went from making 50K a year to 150K to having 50K in a commission check? Stop believing the lies that I'm not worth $50,000 in a a commission check. That I'm actually worth 200 grand. You want to know what happened when I actually believed that I was a top 10 performing rep and it didn't matter if I didn't have the experience? Start being a top 10 performing rep. You start doing it. It's like this. If you want to be a fit person, actually just think how a fit person would be. They probably eat more salads and they probably work out and they move. If you want to be, just become the person you want to become. And I'll sit here and tell you that's what drives me every day. I'm not even close to the man I want to become. I'm going to start living every single day like that man. And know that I have a lot of work. And some days I take three steps back. But can I never give up? And can I stop making all the excuses? I want somebody to hear this, to truly change your life. Because this is so much more than med device sales for me. But the reason you'll never be successful, the reason you'll never hit your dreams, the reason you'll never get to where you want to be is because you'll keep making excuses. Every single person that you look up to had the exact same fear, but they jumped and they kept with it. So the reason I'm just saying that, hey, your parents are supportive. You don't have the money. You don't know where you're going. You can't be successful because people don't like you. Your manager sucks. All this stuff. It is all trash inside your head that's fake. The moment you actually just get to where you want to be and you actually commit to it, you always start achieving everything you've ever wanted. Every single person that's listening to this podcast right now, you all think you're special. And what I mean by that is, oh, my story's different. I have a different background. We've helped over 1,700 people now. You think one person hasn't had a similar background, hasn't lost a parent, hasn't gone through a divorce, hasn't had the money, hasn't had somebody say they suck, hasn't had any support from anybody else, has to do it on their own, hasn't faced challenges. You're out of your mind if you think that. But that's what people do and they make it all about them. And so the reason I'm just saying that same thing, if you're in med device sales, you don't have the sales experience. You don't have the clinical experience. You don't have a good leader. You don't, guys, you've heard my story a million times. No excuses. Makes it. The moment you can get to that point, And the reason I can have this talk with our audience is because the people who listen to us, that's how they're wired. And I love that because we're not for everybody. I'm going to say this on here and I'm because it's what I tell everybody. We are not the Honda Accord of med device sales. We are the Lamborghini. And what that means is there's a lot less of us. The value there is way higher. It's hence why we do what we do. It's why we have companies, CEOs calling me yesterday asking for our people. Why? Because I've been a top performer. I only get people who listen to this that want to be top performers, that cut the excuses, that cut the bull crap. And even though they are scared as heck, they still commit because courage isn't that you're not scared. Courage is doing it anyway. So whether you're trying to break into medical device sales, whether you're trying to be a top performer in medical device sales, let me just sit here and tell you, cut the excuses. Oh, the other rep said this, go figure it out for yourself. Oh, this doctor is it. Stop working with the doctor or go find a new doctor. The thing that I'm just going to sit here and tell you, there's always an excuse why you can't be where you want to be. Why I'm where I'm at today. Now I'm in rooms with people. I get to go talk to a guy. He makes over a million dollars a month. And it's like, holy cremoy, that's pretty crazy. Why? You learn that they stopped believing all the crap. One of the things I just saw a picture. And again, if you guys don't listen to Mike Stud, it's Mike period. I love his music. I'm always going to shout it out. But the reason I'm just saying that, he posted the other day, more of self-development is basically unlearning all the things you've learned. Because you want to know what everybody tells me? What their parents taught me and their parents don't make 100 grand a year. Their parents made 200, $300,000, but they just got a job. They don't actually run their own stuff. And then they're going to question a bunch of things, but they've never done the research. Insanity. You guys want to keep doing the same thing over and over? Expect different results? Keep doing that. The people who are going to actually change their life, build generational wealth, have freedom, have the opportunity to live the life exactly that they want to inside medical device sales and save a lot of people and help a lot of people are the people who stop listening to all the excuses. And that's what I just wanted to come on here and encourage you all because every single day, my job now is listening to everyone else's excuses. And the, the sad thing is, is, I believe in them more than they believe in themselves. If you just believed in you the way you believe in a lot of other people, your life would be changed. To some people, this might rub you the wrong way. To some people, this might rock your freaking world because I can sit here and tell you, Jordan Peterson says this, Go sit on your bed and ask the one thing you've been doing to mess up your whole life and actually sit in there to change your life. My friends, let me just sit here and tell you, I've asked myself that question almost every month for the last five years. And it's the reason why I went from making no money to now making more money in a month than I used to think I could make in a year. I don't say that to brag. I say that it's all about self-development. We have multiple businesses now. 
I'm working with CEOs now with med device companies. It is so freaking cool. But I was also that kid working landscape and making $12 an hour, scared as hell to leave Iowa, stuck, and knew I was meant for more. But sometimes you should just have to jump. And the thing I'm sitting here telling you why I'm so dang proud of what we do at Unit Medical Device Sales, you don't got to do it alone. You can have a community. We've helped associates go to full line reps making 180000 in their first job. We've helped people with no clinical experience, no sales experience come in. The guy we just got hired came in at over $90,000. He's 24 years old, but he was in the exact same position. But the only difference is they cut the excuses and they finally jumped. Everything you want to do in life is on the other side of hard. Everything you want to do in life is on the other side of all your excuses. So I hope you just hear my heart. I want you to win at life. Medical device sales, cool. I know we can help you. That's going to be awesome. And it's such a cool industry, but take that away. I just want you to win at life. I want you to actually wake up and love your life. I want you to actually make enough money so you have financial freedom that you can take the trips that you want to, that you can go be with your family, that you can spend time and do everything you want to. Most of you are taking advice from people who have a bunch of excuses and don't even live the life they want to. So I just want you guys to really think on that as you go into the weekend, as you continue to better yourself, because the people who listen to this all want to be better. And I absolutely love that. And I'm so proud of this community. And I just want to say thank you for all of the support. If you guys can press that like and subscribe button, it means the world if you can share this with somebody. It could be about med device sales or it could not be about med device sales. Because as you guys saw, yeah, this is about med device sales, but this is more about life. Because the difference between winners and losers, it just goes in, stop the excuses, start betting on yourself. Go get around people that actually believe in you and will help you get to where you want to be. Because all mentors do is save you time and money. I've already been a top performer. I've helped over 1,700 people be able to break in with med device sales, most of them not having clinical or sales experience. You want to actually go change your life? Just go freaking do it. You're going to be sitting here two, four, six, eight, 12 months from now in the same spot, probably way behind. I always tell people, guess what happens if you get in in 14 months? Okay, now what? Compared to our people don't do that. And it's because they just decided to quit the excuses and invest in themselves. So I just hope you hear my heart. I love you all. Don't need a dollar from you. Put all the free stuff out there. But if you want to change your life, you got to start betting on you and stop letting fear dictate your life. Because the last thing I'm going to sit here and say, because it's what I said to the guy I talked to yesterday, the reason my life's where it's at is because I continue to have the crazy belief instead of focusing on what if all the negative things happen, what if everything I ever dreamed of comes true. And it's why I'm sitting here living my dream, talking to you all. So keep believing and just keep thinking, what if everything you're dreaming about actually happens instead of letting fear dictate your life. See you on the next one. Peace.